These are the steps we took to participate in two of our local farmers markets for the first time. I'm sure we missed a couple things and there are different rules in different places, but a video like this was what I was looking for when we first started looking into this. A good first step is visiting your local farmers market website. Ours had a list of requirements and it had us create profiles and submit some legal paperwork, such as proof of insurance and sales tax registration. It also listed all the rules and regulations specific to each market. For example, one of our markets is just held in a parking lot, so we have to provide our own tent and liability insurance. The other is held in a pavilion, so infrastructure is provided, but that also comes with a larger registration fee and some meetings we have to attend to get our spot. We started planning our attendance at the end of last season, but it's not too late. It's a long list of things to do, but it comes together quickly. So now let's go back to where we started. We decided the best way to organize our business was under an LLC. First, we searched how to start an LLC in our state. So if you do a Google search, what you don't want to do is go to any of these websites that are all just trying to sell you their service or just want to collect your data. You want a .gov website or your state's small business website. Ours was through our Secretary of State's website. There are several types of business ownership, but we went with an LLC as it protects us from certain personal liabilities because it creates a separate business entity. An LLC has a few more legal requirements, and here's what is required in Missouri. You need articles of incorporation, an operating agreement, and a sales tax ID. When creating our LLC on the Secretary of State's website, it had us create an account where you name the organizer, business type, and what your business will do. This is basically just registering your business with the state. We use the same account to set a fictitious name that our LLC would do business as. The fictitious name is what we call our market stand, for example. Your LLC's name is going to stay the same on every single legal document you fill out on its behalf going forward, but a fictitious name can be added or changed later down the road. This should make your life easier. It lets you get all the boring paperwork out of the way for the LLC now, and if the perfect name comes to you later or business needs change, a fictitious name can be added for a small fee. The next thing we needed was an operating agreement. Basically the contract between the members of the LLC that sets the rules you agree to follow. There are many boilerplate agreements online, and I got ours on rocketlawyer.com. It's one of those sites I warned you about earlier, so maybe I'm a hypocrite, but it's worth it to me to have a little bit of hassle of signing up and then canceling so I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. And we got the operating agreement we liked. Next, we got our retail sales license, basically registering with the state to pay sales tax. For us, this was on our Missouri Department of Revenue website. In Missouri, for our first year, we were able to submit a no tax due statement as well as post a small bond since we weren't expecting to make the minimum set by our state. Again, this is an example of our state's requirements, so check with your own state to make sure you have everything you need to do business there. Now we are all set up with the state, the next step was with the IRS. This can all be done online as well, but again, make sure you are on the irs.gov website. irs.com is a common copycat. There you'll register for a Federal Employer Identification Number, or EIN. This is kind of like a social security number for your business. Now that we are all set up with the state and federal government, we went to our bank to set up a business account there. Definitely call your bank first and ask them what their requirements are to save everyone time and aggravation. So if you made it this far, now is the fun part. It's time to get a tent, get a table, get a tablecloth get a sign, get business cards, get packaging, start your plants, grow your plants big and strong, harvest your plants, and get them to market. 